So in uh, part eight of our uh, playground uh, modeling and uh, in this case assembly, we're going to go ahead and take care of assembling the wall climb. So we don't necessarily see it in here, but we know that when we created that, the wall um, handles need to be placed into the wall climb. So we're going to go ahead and create another assembly. Um, in this case, a uh, new document. And it's another sub-assembly. And this is actually going to be fairly similar to uh, what we saw with the um, monkey bars. So in Onshape, we've got, uh, created a new document for the subassembly. We've gone into the assembly portion we're inserting. And the first thing we're going to go ahead and put into this in the playground is the wall. Okay, well, I didn't create a new version of that, so we're saving the most updated version. And then in placing it, we can go ahead and uh, close, uh, click, um, to right click. We'll fix that. And then we're also going to be inserting the first of the wall handles. Okay, and same thing. We need to make sure that there's a updated version of the, the most current version. This is something that you could have gone and checked on your own. Um, but uh, we're going to trust that it's up to date because we've created it fairly recently. And we're going to grab the surface piece itself, okay? And we'll go ahead and place the first one loosely, okay? So because the handle is backwards, okay, we need to go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees uh, in pretty much any of the axes to go ahead and make sure that it's good to place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on the okay, work on going ahead and just placing it. Okay. So because it's a round object, going into a round space should not be too much of an issue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy the part. make sure we're getting into the right place. So copying, uh, in this case, surface one, pasting it, okay. And you can try, let's actually give it a shot since I haven't actually tried these too much. We can try and have it as the snap mode, okay. So the idea of snap mode, over over it again, uh, we can drag one mate to another and uh, in theory it'll snap in place. So Let's see if that goes ahead and works. So, take a look from the side, take a look from, sorry, from the top, okay. And it's going a little deeper than, well, let's see. No, it's going a little deeper than I'd like. So, let's play around a little bit again, okay. Undo what we did. Try it one more time. Nope, not quite doing what I want. So in this case, let's go ahead and uh, just go back to the fastener mate. And I'm going to try and have it on the inside edge. Okay. Check the top. Okay. And that looks about in line with what we did. Okay, so largely what we need to do is just complete the process, okay? So we can paste a fair number of these, okay? Start in batches of five or something, and then basically grab your fastener mate, hit the inner edge to the inner edge, Hit OK and do the next one. Okay, so this part is a little on the tedious side, but uh, basically it does need to be completed uh, to go ahead and show the full assembly. Okay, so it's one of those things to think about. Uh, there's definitely an advantage to the patterns that we were using in the um, monkey bar uh, where that works. 
not everything necessarily is going to work the same way. So those are things that we need to kind of consider as we uh, move forward and what you do when you're actually designing your projects. So finish up this set of five. Okay. Again, not taking too long to go ahead and uh, take care of them. Um, we can go ahead and close this up. Um, but basically, you'll have to go ahead and complete this. So rather than making you watch every single step that I'm doing in this, um, uh, I'll leave it to you to go ahead and take care of it. Just remember to uh, look from the top, and you can already see a couple of places where maybe I had it placed a little deeper than it should be. Okay? So those are ones that you can always uh, select, and you can go back and edit those later. Okay? So. Uh, let's actually fix that one while we're thinking about it. So, hover over the fastener, okay. In this case, fastener 4 for the fourth object. Okay. We will go ahead and hit escape a couple of times. Edit that one. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and just delete that one. That should free up the part. We'll go back to the fastener assembly. Okay. Inner edge. Make sure you get the right edge. And yep, that looks a bit better than it did. So make sure you're kind of checking, make sure you're getting it fast and correctly. Um, as you may recall, we had some issues uh, in terms of uh, making sure that that um, chamfer, that angled hole, um, wasn't necessarily part of the assembly. But because we didn't go back and fix that, we're having to address it some in the assembly process. So every decision that you make is going to influence what you do. So you definitely want to play around with the tools, try some of the different methods, and maybe you find something that works a little bit better. So good luck finishing this one up, and uh, we'll see you in part nine and the next of the sub-assemblies.